Haunted Locations in the Philippines Part 1, Luzon Metro Manila, Ateneo de Manila University, one of the most prestigious educational institutions of the country, ADMU is claimed by believers to be haunted. J.P. Siasen General Hospital and Colleges Inc. is a hospital with college facilities located in Quezon City. Students and faculties reportedly spotted paranormal activities across the hallway during classes. Ballot Drive, a major residential avenue in the eastern part of New Manila, Quezon City. Ballot Drive is noted as the site of several apparitions of a white lady, who is considered by believers to be the ghost of a teenage girl who was raped and killed by a taxi driver in the 1950s. De La Salle University, due to its brutal Second World War era history, including the massacre of numerous refugees who sought shelter inside the Chapel of the Most Blessed Sacrament, DLSU is reportedly haunted. Fort Santiago, this is a historic fortress in Intramuros, Manila, and said by believers to be haunted by ghosts of soldiers and civilian victims killed during World War II. Malacanang Palace, the official residence and principal workplace of the President of the Philippines is considered by believers to be haunted by numerous ghosts such as former presidents, former presidential aides and attendants, those from pre-Hispanic and Spanish eras, as well as a black lady peering out towards the Pasig River from a window of the Mabina Hall late at night. Manila City Hall, believing City Hall employees claim of wandering specters after 6 p.m. at night. Paranormal experts investigated in the area confirmed poltergeist activities, residual hauntings from Japanese-era ghosts and a woman believed to have died in the premises during World War II. Most of the hauntings are concentrated in the clock tower of the city hall. Believers also indicate its eerie casket-like shape when viewed from above, although some contend it resembles the shield of the Knights Templar. Manila Film Center, a major component of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, the facility was the site of a construction accident in 1981. When construction of the building was rushed for a film festival, the ceiling scaffolding collapsed, killing several workmen. Rather than halt construction to rescue survivors and retrieve the bodies of the dead workmen, First Lady Imelda Marcos, the main financier of the project, was believed to have ordered cement to be poured into the orchestra, entombing the fallen workmen, some of whom were even buried alive. Various ghostly activities have been reported, including mysterious sounds, voices and poltergeist activity. In the late 1990s, a group called the Spirit Questers began to make visits to the film center in an attempt to contact and appease the souls of the workmen who were killed in the building. Some of these spirits claimed to have moved on, but a few allegedly remain. The facility, formerly abandoned due to its reputation, is now in use after restoration works. Miriam College, believing students' claim of the ghost of a nun in the latest restroom at the second floor of the Caritas building. The Ozone Disco, a former discotheque in Quezon City that was the site of the worst fire in the Philippine history. The fire killed at least 162 people and injured at least 95. The discotheque building was demolished in 2015, and the site is now presently occupied by Gouda, a 24-hour diner, co-operated by Boyabunda, and paranormal activities in the area were claimed to have greatly minimized ever since. PNB Branch Passe, the fifth floor of this Passe branch of PNB at Roxas Boulevard was used as a morgue for the 16 to 25 victims of a fire at the Regent of Manila Hotel on February 13, 1985. Exorcisms were conducted on the said floor at the requests of previous occupants because of frequent paranormal activities. Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the institution's Claro M. Recto Hall houses a small theater where the backstage rooms are the hot spots of an apparition of a burnt entity is confirmed by theater director and professor Segundo, Dodi Dizon. The College of Engineering is also a paranormal hotspot where not only a ghost of a child and a white lady are said to appear but also the spirit of a deceased professor frequents the halls. ABS-CBN telemagazine program Magangang Gabi, Bayan featured the paranormal case of Pup in its 2005 Halloween special. Robinson's Galleria, most female shoppers avoided its department store in the 1980s because of rumors about a half-human, half-snake creature residing in the basement of the mall. It has since been debunked due to its absurdity, to the point that the mall itself referenced and humorously lampooned the claim in one of its ads. Star Mall Alabang, it is situated on the former site of the Alabang Cemetery. Believers claim ghosts haunting its theaters. University of the Philippines Diliman Campus, its long history is said to be the reason of its alleged hauntings. Some of the areas of reported paranormal activity include the College of Music, the Vanguard Building, and Palma Hall. Guerrero Theater, which is housed in the second floor of Palma Hall, supposedly hosts the spirit of a young theater actress who committed suicide after a newcomer obscured her recognition.
University of the Philippines Manila campus. The campus is one of the witnesses of World War II. University of Santo Tomas is reported by believers to be haunted due to its long history that spans from the Spanish era. Santo Tomas also served as an internment camp during the Second World War wherein many of the prisoners of war were enemy aliens, mostly Americans, living in the Philippines. Many prisoners died of starvation, illness, and others. The university is also a witness to unlucky students resorting to suicide, such as the female ghost in one of the latest restrooms in the main building. Former UST Rector Magnificus Rolando de la Rosa confirmed in an interview about an alleged mass grave located near the UST Museum. The Baton, ruins of Lazareto de Mariblas, located at the heart of Mariblas, it was the first quarantine station that was bombed during the Japanese occupation. Baguio, Casa Vallejo, the oldest hotel in the city, it was built in 1909 to house key personnel of the Bureau of Public Works before becoming a hotel in 1923. It is alleged that it served as a detention center for the German prisoners of war in 1917. Dominican Hill Retreat House, commonly called Diplomat Hotel, it was originally a seminary and later converted into a hotel. Situated atop the Dominican Hill, it has been considered as the city's most haunted location as it was the site of numerous atrocities committed by the Japanese forces during World War II. Hyatt Terraces Hotel, was a 12-story hotel that was destroyed in the 1990 Luzon earthquake. The destruction killed at least 50 people. Believers claim ghosts of those perished in the earthquake wandering the vacant site. La Perel White House, also known as the La Perel Guest House, it was built by Roberto La Perel in the 1930s as a vacation home for his family. During World War II, the Japanese soldiers occupied the house and used it as a garrison, where they reportedly committed various atrocities, such as torturing and killing suspected spies working for the United States and their allies. Purchased in 2007 by one of the prominent Filipino-Chinese business magnate billionaires, Lucio Tan, it now serves as a museum of locally made Filipino artworks based on bamboo and wood. Lokan Road, the access road to Lokan Airport, believers claim of a female vanishing hitchhiker, supposedly a rape victim, wandering the area. Philippine Military Academy, the military school of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, is reportedly haunted by various ghosts, including a cadet who allegedly died from a brutal hazing session and phantom platoons marching in the parade grounds late at night. Teachers Camp, first established as a training site by American teachers Thomasites, it is now training center for teachers in the country. It is alleged that it was built on the site of a battlefield of the former indigenous residents. Bulacan. Bahai na Pula, or Elisorio Mansion, a World War II site in San Ildefonso, which the Imperial Japanese Army used as their barracks and became a place where so-called local comfort women were forced to work. It was demolished in 2016 due to a feuding internal conflict between the current members of the Elisorio family. Cavite, Corregidor Island, situated at the entrance of Manila Bay, this historic island is located near the southern tip of Bataan, though it is administered by Cavite City of the province of Cavite. Corregidor played a major role during World War II, during the invasion and liberation of the Philippines from Japanese forces. The Malanta Tunnel was first used as a storage facility of the U.S. Army during World War II, but was later converted into a hospital where injured soldiers were treated. Shadows, unexplainable noises, and even sudden draft as well as temperature changes have been reported to manifest in the tunnel. Luñan, Pindangan Ruins, San Fernando, Luñan. There is said to be a headless priest roaming around Pindangan ruins at night. Laguna, University of the Philippines Los Baños campus, a witness to the Second World War and the Japanese occupation. The Baker Memorial Hall was used as an internment camp of around 2,500 American and Allied POWs and civilians 1943-1945 and headquarters for the Imperial Japanese Forces stationed in Los Baños, Laguna. Believers claim of garroted ghosts in the building. Another area of paranormal activity is a footbridge near the UPLBCEAT, destroyed by Typhoon Milenio in 2006, and Pili Drive. Pampanga, Clark Air Base Hospital, considered as the most haunted location in the Philippines, as it served as an asylum to the wounded and dying American soldiers during the Second World War and the subsequent Vietnam War. Ghost Hunters International visited the hospital in 2009 and confirmed the paranormal activities in the site. It is said to believe that people who visit the hospital and sleep within eight hours after the visit, experience nightmares and intense lucid dreaming for a week. Quezon, Herrera Mansion, also known as the Old Stone House, it is widely considered the oldest house of Taeyang, Quezon. It was designed by Tomas Mapua in 1920. 
Its original owners were Isidro and Juliana Herrera, but has been abandoned for many years ago and is now deteriorating due to decades of disuse. Believers claim of ghosts from the Japanese era. Mount San Cristobal, a mountain located in the municipality of Dolores. Believing natives claim that it emanates negative energy. It is the so-called evil foil to the holy Mount Banaha nearby. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or reactions regarding the video, please comment down below. I love to hear from you. Turn on the notification bell for more updates on my upcoming videos. Thank yous.